people that look at our car on a computer screen, it's very rare for them to actually see a car fire up. And unless they go to an event as a fan, this might be the only opportunity they get to hear the car. The fire up is pretty much the first time the car's come together built. It's quite a big occasion. A lot of time and effort has gone in from people in every every corner of the business. My name's Andrew. My name is Abby. I'm car assembly and hydraulics manager at McLaren Racing. And I'm a reliability engineer at McLaren Racing. My job role is to deliver the most reliable car possible with the mantra that our car does not stop on track. So that can be dealing with a problem as and when it happens or looking at long-term solutions to stop problems reoccurring. We do fire up to validate all the mechanical elements of the car. It's the first time we're bringing the chassis, PU and transmission together. And it also allows us to test out our external infrastructure. So all our IT systems that will be used at track. So this is the first time we get it all together. So Basically, we set the fire update out in our build plan to give the rest of the business, in terms of design, planning and manufacture, a target date to aim for in order to deliver parts to the car, in order to build it through our test period. It's a good opportunity to uncover any potential issues that we could have in car running. We see a lot of the mechanics around the car with torches, checking there's no leaks, no visible fluid leaks, and that everything looks good. After fire up, we'll do a prefit of the bodywork because that's not necessary for it to be on the car during the fire up. We will then disassemble the car and begin our testing program. Going on from that, we will launch the car and then we go racing in Bahrain.